Welcome to Rock DIY, or do it you. If you do it, then it's all you. This small tabletop dresser was burned on the top from a candle that basically burned through the top of the, the tabletop. The burn was actually caused by hot wax that sat in a glass container. So the glass container itself is what got really hot and burned the top. It was made by P.U. Ratten Company Limited in Vietnam. It's basically made out of a root uh, from Vietnam. What needed to be determined is how deep the burn was in the tabletop and then decide whether the wood needed to be completely replaced or if the top could be planed down enough in order to just refinish the top. The first thing that was done was the uh, softest portion of the burn was dug out to see how deep it was and then it was sanded to see how much further the burning continued and it was well over a quarter inch deep. Since the tabletop is just over a half inch thick it wasn't worth trying to plane it because the burn would continue to show through the top no matter how much you planed it down. So refinishing the top was not an option. With that option out, the next option was to replace the top completely, but getting it to match grain-wise uh, would have been pretty difficult. Fortunately, the tabletop was easily removable, and it had 10 screws under the underside which attached the top to the dresser. Other than the stain that was on the underside in the 10 screw holes that needed to be filled, the underside of the tabletop could be refinished in order to make it the new top for the dresser. Before going any further, it was noticed that there was a split between boards on the tabletop, so the split had to be glued and clamped in order to go on. Even though the burnt spot would be on the underside of the tabletop, it was decided to sand it out and then seal it with some plastic wood putty and then also clear coat it. And this was to help prevent the smell of the burnt wood from lingering. Even though the underside of the tabletop would now be the tabletop, the holes for the screws had to have the plastic putty placed in them and I had to ensure that it was deep inside the screw holes in order to plane it and not remove all of the putty. This is what the new tabletop looked like after the putty was dry and the top was planed. You can see the screw holes where the putty is, but this will all go away once the stain is applied. Duplicating the original color of the stain was pretty complicated, but a combination of different stain colors was used with applying, drying, and then applying a different color. The three main colors that were used were golden oak, dark mahogany, and mahogany in order to get it this color. After staining, drying, sanding blemishes out, and then reapplying stain, drying, then four coats of matte clear coat were applied with sanding between each coat. The color of the tabletop matches the rest of the dresser really well. With the tabletop completed prior to actually reattaching it, the right front leg had a wood chip in it that needed to be fixed as well. Plastic putty was applied to where the wood chip was and then after it dried a razor blade was used to trim it to shape and then a 300 grit sandpaper was used to finish it off before staining. Staining the repair actually worked out really well because this was a dark grain run on this edge of the leg so when the stain was applied it basically continued the, the darker run of the stain. And here is the completed project. Overall, I'm very happy with the outcome of repairing this small dresser tabletop. Somebody else is very happy with it as well.
Thanks for watching the video. I truly appreciate it. I hope this video motivates you to take on future DIY projects. There's nothing more satisfying than completing a project on your own. Please like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks again.